Okay, so here is my brand new Star Trek Com Badge from Star Trek Picard. It's kind of a little hard to see because it's so doom and gloom outside because the hurricane's hitting, but this is the best I can do for sunlight. <clears throat> now, for starters, I do not like Star Trek Picard at all. Like, no part of it. And no, I am not part of the fandom menace. I will never be a part of that little subgroup like on YouTube. I merely just don't like the show because it's not written very well. I knew from starting with the show that, you know, things were going to be different, you know. 20 years after Nemesis, you know, Picard's not going to be the same person he was. I was okay with that. However, I just wasn't okay with everything I saw. I don't like Picard being this old, flimsy type man. I don't like him being an android to end the show. The show was supposed to focus on him, but it didn't, but it focused more on Soshi and the androids and just so much inconsistency with the writing and the plot and a lot of weird stuff that happened. So I'm just not a fan of the poor writing and some of the designs. Like I'm not for people in the 24th century wearing jeans, modern day clothes and using phrases like dude and stuff like that. Also, I like a utopia for Star Trek, not a dystopia. So the whole, like, um, his former first officer living in the shack, getting drunk, doing drugs, that's not Star Trek. At least not Gene's Roddenberry's vision. Don't even get me started on Data. He's like my favorite TNG character, and I had to watch him die twice. I had to watch him die in Nemesis, and then I had to watch him die in Picard. I mean, I respect the actor's wishes, not the one to return. I truly do. But, like, I didn't have to see the dude die twice. But, yes. That's the combat. This is a very nice combat. I can dislike the show, but I do love the combat. It's a variation of... So, I like that. I like the um, consistency of that. I love this one a whole lot more. But, this one is extremely nice. It looks almost Bajoran in a way. And just like with CBS's um, combat, it just has that little divider split in like the middle they always incorporate that and just like because i don't like discovery i do like their combat too i am thinking about probably getting one but i can't find one that i like now i got this off ebay and it was really cheap it's very thin it's literally put together by like a screw so i don't know why they made it that way also it only has like one little um clamp which makes it very wobbly on the shirt I don't know why they didn't add two like this one. So what I did is I ordered another one of these little things and it's coming in the mail. I'm just going to like glue it somewhere and make it like more sturdy. And as you can see, see it looks like flimsy, moves around. So I'm going to order another one and make it stay. <laughs> as for the combat itself, I wish it would have had a better paint job. Like you see like... A pilk there, a pilk there, it wasn't spray painted that well, and some like scratches and perfection in the gold part. Oh yeah, I also got the um, gold and silver one. Technically on the show, I think they have silver and dark gray. It's kind of hard to tell because nobody on the show really wears a com badge because they're not part of Starfleet. But um, when you do see one there, I think it's like dark gray and silver. I didn't want that because when it comes to com badges, I love it when it's gold and silver. Like all the older ones. You know, my Star Trek combat bling. <laughs>